and comments are always welcome in my videos. See, this is as per many requests which I have got from many viewers that they require me to do a few questions related to say like different parts of the kinematics or even different areas of physics. So that's why I thought that I will do a few problems. Uh, this is as per certain requirements from certain students. They want me to do uh, the first session of the plus one unit, just like the motion along straight line. So welcome all of you uh, to another session of virtual classes of science show, in which we are going to do uh, simple questions. With the help of that, we will try to understand as much concepts as possible. So I again welcome all of you to the discussion session of average velocity. So in this we are going to discuss the complete aspects of average velocity with the help of a few questions. That will be helpful for you because once you do the problems along with that, uh, it will be easy for you to grasp that idea. So before entering into that, I will just mention what is meant by average velocity. Average velocity of any object it is defined as say the symbol for the average velocity is V average and that is equal to the total displacement of the object divided by the total time taken. Just like you know that velocity is always equal to displacement divided by time taken. So the velocity average is total displacement divided by time taken. Now listen carefully. For you to deal in kinematics, to deal with this situation, I mean to deal with the problems of average velocity, there are only three types of situations. I mean, only three types of situations will be there for you to analyze. The first situation is very common to any problems that I would say case one, case one. When the particle is moving with a constant acceleration, that means we have given that a particle is moving with constant acceleration constant acceleration that means a of the particle is a constant a of the particle is a constant i will mention one example question over here suppose an object is falling freely or free fall of an object the problem suppose the problem is given like this an object falls freely and it reaches the ground with a velocity say 30 meter per second. Only that is given to us. A body is falling down, freely falling and it reaches the ground with a velocity of 30 meter per second. We need to find the average velocity. Problem is to get the average velocity of motion. So what was the situation which was given? I have free fall. You know that free fall always indicates u is equal to zero. And for an object which is falling freely, we can take A is equal to minus G. We know that this is a constant parameter. So this sits, the matches with the situation. So A is equal to minus G, which is a constant. And I have given you the final velocity is say 30 meter per second. We don't know the time taken, we don't know the displacement, nothing. So as per my definition, I have got the average is equal to total displacement divided by total time. Now what is this displacement is given, now the time is given. So what to do? We have to find out anyway, we have to solve the problem. Let us see how to proceed. Okay? So what is V average? V average is defined as displacement divided by the time taken. Displacement divided by the time taken. And we have one condition, acceleration is constant. 
You all know that when the acceleration is constant, we can freely use the equations of motion. Which are all the equations of motion that you know? Which are one is P is equal to U plus AT and other is S is equal to UT plus half A T square. I have S by T here. So I have S and T is appearing on the other side. Take one T from the right hand side to the left hand side. I'll get S by T is equal to U plus half a t. So my equation for average velocity can be rewritten as u plus half a t by substituting from s by t. Now the next question is what is a? How we can replace a and t? Look at this equation. We have a t here. So from this I can write a t is equal to v minus u. So my equation on this side will become v average is equal to u plus half into v minus u. Now just rearrange that equation. Multiply throughout with 2. I can write 2 v average is equal to 2u plus v minus u. 2u minus u is u, so this becomes u plus v. So what is v average? v average is u plus v divided by 2. What is that? When the particle is accelerated at a constant rate, the average velocity can be found as initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. That's a very simple expression which you can always use. So what is average velocity? It is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 when it is given that acceleration is constant or the particle is accelerated at a constant rate. Now look at that problem. So this is understood by you. Now I'm going to apply into that what I have to find? V average. What is V average? Initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. What is initial velocity? It is 0. Final velocity is 30 divided by 2. That is 15 meter per second. So that's an easy way to do the problem even though the displacement is not given because we know that average velocity is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 in the case of a constantly accelerated particle. Now we can do this one. Another example I will solve for the same case. For Let's say that a car was moving on a straight road at a constant with an initial velocity of say 30 km per hour. A car Second example, it comes to stop in a particular displacement and time taken, it comes to stop under the action of a constant retarding force, constant retarding force. Question is to get the average velocity. So what are the inputs which have given? We have got the initial velocity. And the force acting is a constant one on that one and it comes to rest. If the retarding force is constant, if F is constant, retarding force we can write it as F is equal to minus MA. If F is constant, A is also constant. So we can write V average is equal to U plus V divided by 2 again. So we know the initial value which is U. When it is coming to rest or when it gets stopped, what is final velocity? That is equal to zero. So substitute, it will get 30 km per hour plus zero by two as 15 km per hour. So that is the way to solve the question. 
when in which particles are accelerated uniformly at a constant rate or retarded at a constant rate. So that is one way of solving the questions of average velocity when we know that uh, the acceleration is a constant parameter. Now let us see which are the other cases. Other cases would be in which acceleration is not mentioned. Suppose you have a problem. So case 2. So in the case 1, when acceleration is constant, we got V average is equal to U plus V divided by 2. That is the expression for the average velocity. Okay, 